Mahashivaratri is a Hindu festival celebrated annually in honor of Lord Shiva, and in particular, marks the day of the marriage of Shiva. There is a Shivaratri in every luni solar month of the Hindu calendar, on the month's 13th night, 14th day, but once a year in late winter February, March, or Falgan, and before the arrival of summer, marks Mahashivaratri which means, "...the great night of Shiva". It is a major festival in Hinduism, and this festival is solemn and marks a remembrance of, "...overcoming darkness and ignorance." in life and the world. It is observed by remembering Shiva and chanting prayers, fasting, and meditating on ethics and virtues such as self-restraint, honesty, non-injury to others, forgiveness, and the discovery of Shiva. The ardent devotees keep awake all night. Others visit one of the Shiva temples or go on pilgrimage to Jyotilingams. This is an ancient Hindu festival whose origin date is unknown. In Kashmir Shaivism, the festival is called Ha Ratri or phonetically simpler Harith or Harith by Shiva faithfuls of the Kashmir region. Description Mahashivaratri is an annual festival dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva, and is particularly important in the Shaivism tradition of Hinduism. Unlike most Hindu festivals which are celebrated during the day, the Mahashivaratri is celebrated at night. Furthermore, unlike most Hindu festivals which include expression of cultural revelry, the Maha Shivaratri is a solemn event notable for its introspective focus, fasting, meditation on Shiva, self-study, social harmony and an all-night vigil at Shiva temples. The celebration includes maintaining a yagaran, an all-night vigil and prayers because Shaiva Hindus mark this night as overcoming darkness and ignorance in one's life and the world through Shiva. Offerings of fruits, leaves, sweets and milk to Shiva are made, some perform all-day fasting with Vedic or Tantric worship of Shiva, and some perform meditative yoga. In Shiva temples, Om Nama Shivaya, the sacred mantra of Shiva, is chanted through the day. Mahashivaratri is celebrated over three or ten days based on the Hindu luni solar calendar. Every lunar month, there is a Shivaratri 12 per years. The main festival is called Maha Shivaratri, or Great Shivaratri, which is held on 13th night waning moon and 14th day of the month Falguna. In the Gregorian calendar, the day falls in either February or March. Topic history and significance The Maha Shivaratri is mentioned in several Puranas, particularly the Skanda Purana, Linga Purana and Padma Purana. These medieval-era Shaiva texts present different versions associated with this festival, and mention fasting, reverence for icons of Shiva such as the Lingam. Different legends describe the significance of Mahashivaratri. According to one legend in the Shaivism tradition, this is the night when Shiva performs the heavenly dance of creation, preservation and destruction. The chanting of hymns, the reading of Shiva scriptures and the chorus of devotees joins this cosmic dance and remembers Shiva's presence everywhere. According to another legend, this is the night when Shiva and Pavadi got married. A different legend states that the offering to Shiva icons such as the Linga is an annual occasion to get over past sins, if any, to restart on a virtuous path and thereby reach Mount Kailasha and liberation. The significance of dance tradition to this festival has historical roots. The Mahashivaratri has served as a historic confluence of artists for annual dance festivals at major Hindu temples such as at Konik, Kajaraho, Patadakal, Modhira, and Chidambaram. This event is called Nachinjali, literally worship through dance, at the Chidambaram temple which is famous for its sculpture depicting all dance mudras in the ancient Hindu text of performance arts called Natya Shastra. Similarly, at Kajaraho Shiva temples, a major fair and dance festival on Mahashivaratri, involving Shaiva pilgrims camped over miles around the temple complex, was documented by Alexander Cunningham in 1864. Maha Shivaratri and Tantra Maha Shivaratri is considered the day when Adiyogi or the first guru awakened his consciousness at the material level of existence. According to Tantra, at this stage of consciousness, no objective experience takes place and the mind is transcended. The meditator transcends time, space and causation. It is regarded as the brightest night of the soul, when the yogi attains the state of shunya or nirvana, the stage succeeding samadhi or illumination. In India Mahashivaratri is celebrated in Tamil Nadu with great pomp and fanfare in the Annamalai temple located in Tiruvannamalai district. 
The special process of worship on this day is Girivalam, Giri Pradakshina, a 14 km barefoot walk around Lord Shiva's temple on top of the hill. A huge lamp of oil and camphor is lit on the hilltop at sunset, not to be confused with Karthagai Deepam. The major Jyotirlinga Shiva temples of India, such as in Varanasi and Somanatha, are particularly frequented on Mahashivaratri. They serve also as sites for fairs and special events. In Andhra and Telangana, Shivratri Yatras are held at Malayagutta near Kamhalapal, Gundlakama Kona near Railway Kojuru, Penchalakona, Bhairavakona, Uma Mahaswaram amongst others. Special pujas are held at Pancharamas, Amararamam of Amaravati, Somaramam of Bhamavaram, Draksharamam, Kumararama of Samalakota, and Kisharama of Palakalu. The days immediately after Shivratri are celebrated as Brahmotsavalu at Srisilam, one of twelve Jyotalinga sites. Mahashivaratri Utsavalu are held at the Rudreshwara Swami's 1000 pillar temple in Warangal. Devotees throng for the special pujas at Sri Kalahasti, Mahanandi, Yaganti, Antarvedi, Katamanchi, Patasima, Bhairavakona, Hanmakonda, Kizaragutta, Vemulawada, Panagal, Kolanupaka amongst others. The Mandi Fair is in the town of Mandi is particularly famous as a venue for Mahashivaratri celebrations. It transforms the town as devotees pour in. It is believed that all gods and goddesses of the area, said to number more than 200, assemble here on the day of Mahashivaratri. Mandi, located on the banks of Bees, is popularly known as the ''Cathedral of Temples'' and one of the oldest towns of Himachal Pradesh, with about 81 temples of different gods and goddesses on its periphery. In Kashmir Shaivism, Mahashivaratri is celebrated by the Brahmins of Kashmir and is called ''Herith'' in Kashmiri, a word derived from the Sanskrit word Hararitri. The Knight of Hara, another name of Shiva. Shivaratri, regarded as the most important festival of the community, for instance, is celebrated by them on Trayodashi or the 13th of the dark half of the month of Falguna February to March and not on Chaturdashi or the 14th as in the rest of the country. The reason for it is that this long-drawn festival that is celebrated for one full fortnight as an elaborate ritual is associated with the appearance of Bhairava Shiva as a Jwala Linga or a Linga of Flame. It has been described as bearer of Osava in tantric texts as on this occasion Bhairava and Bhairavi, his Shakti or cosmic energy, are propitiated through tantric worship. According to the legend associated with the origin of the worship, the linga appeared at Pradoshakala or the dusk of early night as a blazing column of fire and dazzled Vatuka Bhairava and Rama or Ramana Bhairava, Mahadevi's mind-born sons, who approached it to discover its beginning or end but miserably failed. Exasperated and terrified they began to sing its praises and went to Mahadevi, who herself merged with the awe-inspiring Jwala Linga. The goddess blessed both Vatuka and Ramana that they would be worshipped by human beings and would receive their share of sacrificial offerings on that day and those who would worship them would have all their wishes fulfilled. As Vatuka Bhairava emerged from a pitcher full of water after Mahadevi cast a glance into it, fully armed with all his weapons and so did Rama, he is represented by a pitcher full of water in which walnuts are kept for soaking and worshipped along with Shiva, Pavati, Kumara, Ganesha, their Ganas or attendant deities, Yoginas and Kshetrapalas guardians of the quarters, all represented by clay images. The soaked walnuts are later distributed as Naivadiya. The ceremony is called Vatuk Barun in Kashmiri, which means filling the pitcher of water representing the Vatuka Bhairava with walnuts and worshipping it. Citation needed Central India has a large number of Shaiva followers. The Mahakaleshwar Temple, Ujjain is one of the most venerated shrines consecrated to Shiva, where a large congregation of devotees gathers to offer prayers on the day of Mahashivaratri. Tilwaragat in the city of Jabalpur and the Math Temple in the village of Junara, Sioni are two other places where the festival is celebrated with much religious fervor. In Punjab, Shobi Yatras would be organized by various Hindu organizations in different cities. It is a grand festival for Punjabi Hindus. In Gujarat, Mahashivaratri Mela is held at Junagad where bathing in the Mergi Kund is considered holy. According to myth, Lord Shiva himself comes to bath in Themergi Kund. In West Bengal, Mahashivaratri is observed devoutly by unmarried girls seeking a suitable husband, often visiting Tarikswar. Topic stories and beliefs There are several stories and beliefs associated with this auspicious event. <laughs> Samudra Manthan it is believed that on this particular day Lord Shiva gulped the Halahala produced during Samudra Manthan and beheld it in his neck which bruised and turned blue, after which he was named as Neil Kanth. 
It is also believed that the famous Nilkanth Mahadev temple is the place where this incident took place or where Lord Shiva consumed the poison as dark matter and saved the universe. In Nepal Mahashivaratri is a national holiday in Nepal and celebrated widely in temples all over the country, but especially in the Pashupatinath temple. Thousands of devotees visit the famous Shiva Shakti Peetham nearby as well. Holy rituals are performed all over the nation. Artists from various classical music and dance forms perform through the night. On Mahashivaratri, married women pray for the well-being of their husbands, while unmarried women pray for a husband like Shiva, considered as the ideal husband. Shiva is also worshipped as the Adi Guru first teacher from whom the divine wisdom originates. Outside South Asia Mahashivaratri is the main Hindu festival among the Shaiva Hindu diaspora from Nepal and India. In Indo-Caribbean communities, thousands of Hindus spend the beautiful night in over 400 temples across the country, offering special jewels and offering of milk and curd, flowers, sugarcane and sweets to Lord Shiva. In Mauritius, Hindus go on pilgrimage to Ganga Talau, a crater lake. Topic: See also Pradosha Rudraksha Vibhuti Rudra Linga Jangam <laughs>